Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, Cambodia is a land of rich history, diverse culture, and breathtaking landscapes. One of the most iconic and awe-inspiring places in Cambodia is the ancient city of Angkor, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its remarkable architectural achievements and unique wetland features. Angkor, which means city or capital in Khmer, was the political, religious, and cultural center of the Khmer Empire during its peak in the 9th to 15th centuries. It is located near the modern-day city of Siem Reap, in the northwestern region of Cambodia. The Angkor Archaeological Park spans approximately 400 square kilometers and is home to numerous temples, reservoirs, and canals, all surrounded by a vast wetland ecosystem that played a significant role in sustaining the ancient civilization. In this 2,000-word description, we will delve into the captivating history, cultural significance, and ecological importance of Angkor, highlighting its status as a wetland heritage of Cambodia. The history of Angkor dates back to the early 9th century when Jayavarman II, the Khmer king, established his capital in the region. Over the next centuries, successive kings and rulers expanded the city and its grandeur, leaving behind a legacy of extraordinary temples and monumental architecture. One of the most celebrated and imposing structures in Angkor is the Angkor Wat Temple Complex, constructed by King Suryavarman II in the early 12th century. The temple, dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu, is a symbol of Cambodia and appears on its national flag. Its iconic towers and intricate bas reliefs attract millions of visitors from around the world. Apart from Angkor Wat, Angkor Thom is another notable archaeological site within the Angkor complex. Built by King Jayavarman VII in the late 12th century, Angkor Thom served as the last capital of the Khmer Empire and features the famous Bayan temple with its numerous stone faces, representing a fusion of Hinduism and Buddhism. Other significant temples include Ta Prom, known for the interplay of stone ruins and massive tree roots, and Bante Sre, admired for its fine red sandstone carvings. Beyond its architectural splendors, Angkor is distinguished by its intricate network of water management and wetland features, which played a vital role in the success and sustainability of the ancient civilization. The Khmer people were masterful engineers and created a sophisticated hydraulic system that included reservoirs, canals, and berets ancient reservoirs to manage water resources effectively. The most prominent hydraulic feat is the West Bari, a massive artificial reservoir measuring around 8 km long and 2.3 km wide. It was designed to store monsoon rains, providing water for irrigation during the dry season, and also served as a symbol of power and authority for the Khmer rulers. Similarly, the East Bari and the Northern Bari served similar purposes in supporting agriculture and sustaining the population. The complex water management system allowed the Khmer Empire to flourish by supporting extensive rice cultivation, which became the backbone of their economy. Rice surplus from the fertile floodplains of Angkor contributed to the growth of trade and cultural exchange with neighboring regions, facilitating the rise of a prosperous and cosmopolitan society. Angkor holds immense cultural significance, not only as a historical treasure but also as a living heritage deeply ingrained in the hearts of the Cambodian people. The temples and architecture reflect the religious beliefs, artistic achievements, and engineering ingenuity of the Khmer civilization. The carvings and sculptures on the temple walls depict scenes from Hindu mythology and the life of the Khmer elite, providing valuable insights into the society and culture of the time. The Angkor complex is also a pilgrimage site for Cambodian Buddhists, as many of the temples were later converted into Buddhist places of worship. The integration of Hindu and Buddhist elements in the architecture is a testament to the religious harmony and synthesis that shaped Cambodia's cultural identity. Angkor's inscription as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992 brought international attention and conservation efforts to protect this cultural gem. The site is of utmost importance to the Cambodian people, symbolizing their resilience and pride, 
especially considering the destruction and loss endured during the Khmer Rouge regime in the 1970s. It serves as a poignant reminder of the nation's past while inspiring hope for a better future. Beyond its historical and cultural significance, Angkor's wetland ecosystem is of immense ecological importance. The intricate network of reservoirs, canals, and wetlands supports a diverse array of flora and fauna, creating a unique and delicate ecosystem. The flooded forests and wetlands of Angkor provide critical habitat for various bird species, including migratory birds that visit the region during the winter months. Rare and endangered bird species, such as the Saris crane and the Bengal florican, find sanctuary in the marshlands. The Tonle Sap Lake, connected to the Angkor complex through the Siem Reap River, is Southeast Asia's largest freshwater lake and an essential component of the wetland ecosystem. Despite its significance, Angkor's ecosystem faces numerous conservation challenges. Increased tourism puts pressure on the delicate structures and carvings of the temples, while the water management system's modernization affects the natural hydrology of the area. Climate change and deforestation in the surrounding regions contribute to changing water patterns and the loss of biodiversity. Preserving Angkor's wetland heritage requires a delicate balance between conservation and sustainable tourism. Cambodian authorities, along with international organizations, work together to implement measures to protect and manage the site effectively. Educational initiatives, community involvement, and responsible tourism practices are essential to safeguard the legacy of Angkor for future generations. Angkor stands as a testament to the ingenuity, artistic brilliance, and resilience of the Khmer Empire. Its architectural marvels, coupled with a sophisticated water management system, reflect the civilization's profound understanding of engineering and nature. Beyond the historical and cultural significance, Angkor's wetland ecosystem showcases the ecological richness and diversity that flourished under the Khmer stewardship. As Cambodia continues to embrace its past while striving towards a sustainable future, the preservation and conservation of Angkor's wetland heritage remain paramount. By protecting this remarkable site, Cambodia ensures that it will continue to captivate and inspire generations to come, making Angkor not just a treasure of Cambodia but a cherished jewel of human history and global heritage.